Hello, I'm Lessa Logan, and today I want to talk to you about Swan Prep 2, the one where your hands are on the mat. Welcome to OnlinePilatesClasses.com, the most supportive Pilates-loving community across the globe. Enjoy new weekly classes from our amazing teachers. Download the OnlinePilatesClasses.com app today. So again, if you watch the Swan Prep one, you're like, Leslie, what the heck is Swan Prep 2? I know, it's not, it's not helpful, right? Um, but it is a version of Swan that prepares you for Swan, and I really think it is a great Swan to, to really help you integrate your arms into your back so that you're not pushing yourself back to go forward, but instead pulling your shoulders wide so you die from a, a place of strength. So I put these two, this is the second of two Swan Preps, in the matte flashcards for onlinepliesclasses.com because swan dive is hard. And while it does come before single leg kick and double leg kick, something I would argue is you probably have really strengthened your single leg kick and double leg kick before you learn a swan dive. And so why not have these swan preps to help you get there, right? So swan prep two, if you have a mat with handles, I like to put my hands on the handles in line with my shoulders. If you don't have that, your hands just go underneath your shoulders, no problem. Then You'll pull your shoulders on your back, spin your inner thighs up, reach your tailbone long. And this is where people get it wrong. They push into the mat or their handles to go into their lower back to come up. So we don't want to go back to come up. We want to go forward to come up. And you don't have to come as high as I did, especially if you leave your lower back behind. But if you can pull your waist up with you, then it's really cool the length you can get as you get up here. And so this means that if I let go of my arms, I shouldn't just go <laughs> like slinky to the mat. I should end up diving into the swan dive because I'm so strong here that when I shoot my arms out, my legs should just lift up, right? So that is your swan prep too. Um, and from there you can do the Joe's pose, the celebration pose that I talked about in another video here on this channel and also in the flashcards, and then go into your single leg kick and double leg kick. And over time, that single leg kick and double leg kick are going to strengthen your body so much that swan dive is going to feel really possible and really fun. If you have questions about this, put in the comments below. We go live on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific time. If you're an OPC member, I actually answer your questions in the members only community and give you feedback on your form. So check us out at onlinepliesclasses.com slash YouTube.